uh, the project, specific project here for the fear has to do with the body and the state before perfume come into question. So what do we have before we start to camouflage and deodorize it? So the fact is that everybody have a unique body smell and uh, be it the sweat, be it whatever, but this smell is as unique as your fingerprint. And we tend to forget this. And I don't want to be a moralist, I want to be just to be a realist. And I said, if we ever are going to appreciate perfumery for what it is supposed to be or was supposed to be when it started, we have to know how we smell first. Because how can you just put whatever on your body without knowing how you actually smell? So what I do in general is like back to basic. Working with the same industry who make perfume, and the paradox is that I take care of what they camouflage. Yeah? So using the same technology, using the same molecules and raw material to reproduce reality we live in, be it the body, be it the city, be it whatever, mm -hmm. food, Around. food, our surrounding, and uh, reproduce it endlessly with the help of chemistry, bring it back to humanity, displace a body in a bottle, mm -hmm. means you train to accept that body. Yeah? If you have to smell the body, you will go away. So this opened up a completely different kind of education for the nose. Mm -hmm. So I tried to say, listen, we have the industry, we have an amazing knowledge out there, and I think it's about time we start to use this knowledge for other purposes, bad message and bad bottles. And why you call it fear? No, this project has to do with um, the body as a tool of invisible communication. Can we smell a person a uh, state, I mean, through this smelling a person, can we get information about the person's state of mind, mm -hmm. yeah, psychologically? Can I smell fear? Can I smell that you are afraid? Can I smell you are happy? So it's an attempt to see if this is possible. And this project was commissioned by MIT in Boston, oh. and it happened in the moment of a Bush government, and the whole notion of paranoia, terrorism, and all this. So I was interested, can I smell that the, appear, the Americans are afraid. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this was a starting point for a big, big research project. And uh, yeah, so these are many men, of, these are few men of a lot. And I was interested in, in uh, the body and it's nothing to do with men or women. But here I choose men because men sweat more. Mm -hmm. And because as a man uh, dare to, to go into situation uh, more extreme than women, so I was, interested in extremes. So this is all about the notion of fear. I do another project about happiness. So it's not just that I'm into that. And it's not about a perfume you put on your body and then you get afraid. This is not commercial. Yeah. I don't have any favorite. For me, there is no good and bad. Gives you emotion. No, I don't have it. Oh, you don't have it. I think in smells. For me, smell is uh, is really so intellectual. What about smells? What's hmm? your favorite? No, I don't have. You don't have. I have. Uh, I think all smells are interesting. There's no good and there's no bad. Everything is interesting, so interesting, and I don't care about bad and good. And and this is what makes me so different. But I needed seven years to get there. Okay. So it's a training. You have to get trained to get rid of your prejudices. Okay. Because everyone are full of prejudices. This is bad and this is good. And what kind of rules? But you don't have Who made those good rules? The That's industry made those rules. White, middle class, U European rules. You know? Yeah. And I think it's about time to change this. Because if what I want is to make it more exciting. You okay. know? Because now we have so much mainstream. After this connotation thinking, it's bad and this is good, this is good and this is bad, forget it. If we start to speak about interesting, then there is a hope. Yeah? But in private, you don't have a, no. a smell, the emotion? The smell of my daughter. Um. I, I do it all the time. I make my own. I don't make perfume, I make smells, okay. which I put on my body because I want to tell something about myself which you cannot see. So yeah? you're against uh, typical... No, I'm not against anything. People can do whatever they want. I'm not against. I'm not a revolutionary. I'm just different. 
I think we have a hardware, which is the body. Mm -hmm. We have software, which is the sensors. And I think we should start to train all the software, not only this one. Okay. This is all I say. Okay. Nose is the most important. Thank you so much. Because without breathing, you die. Okay. You can walk around and you have a nice life, but the moment you stop breathing, you're dead. And every breath you do, you inhale smell molecules. There is no fresh air or clean air anywhere, whatever that's supposed to mean. Mm -hmm. Clean air, what does it mean? So I just say, listen, all these molecules, look, mm -hmm. are interesting, you know? I think they have potential. I think they should have a chance. And through chemistry, mm -hmm. which is this, mm -hmm. I try to reproduce that, yeah? Try to reproduce the reality and place it like this and say, listen, this is about you, you know? I cannot see it, but no, I get it okay. in through the nose. I understand you different. Yeah, Thank okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs>